L'Hopital's Rule. L'Hopital's Rule provides us with an alternate method to evaluate the limit of a function when the result is an indeterminate form, such as 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Let me take a moment and look at what is an indeterminate form. Now that we have learned a substantial amount about derivatives and their uses, we can explore one more interesting quality. This is going to require us to go back to the beginning, back when we studied limits. So in our limit unit, we had a problem that looked something like this. The limit as x approaches 3 of x squared minus 9 divided by x minus 3. Now, with straightforward substitution, it's easy to see that we are going to have a 0 over 0. So some type of further explanation or some type of further work was needed. And what we did back then was we factored x squared minus 9 to get x plus 3, x minus 3. At this point, we canceled out the x minus 3s from both the numerator and denominator. And we were left with x plus 3. And straightforward substitution tells us that as x approaches 3, the limit of x plus 3 becomes 6. That was fairly straightforward. But what if we had something like this? the limit as x approaches infinity of 4x divided by e to the x. This is going to result in an indeterminate form of infinity over infinity. The good news is we have a way to evaluate this, thanks to a mathematician named L'Hopital. He was a 17th century French mathematician, and he found a way to use derivatives to evaluate such limits that result in an indeterminate form of 0 over 0 and infinity over infinity. He also gave credit to the Bernoulli brothers who also had work in the same area. Now L'Hopital's rule says that if you have a function such as f of x over g of x and as x approaches a the result is going to be plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity or uh, same uh, same limit uh, as x approaches a, f of x is over g of x, we end up with 0 over 0. We can evaluate that by taking the derivative of f of x to get f prime of x and the derivative of g of x to get g prime of x. And we'll get the same result. That is known as L'Hopital's rule. So what does this mean? Is that we now have an alternate method for calculating indeterminate limits. And why didn't we learn about this earlier, you might ask? Because at that time, we didn't know about derivatives. Okay. There is a warning, though. L'Hopital's rule uses derivatives to find the limits of a certain form. Okay. If you want to find the derivative of a function itself, you still do need the quotient rule. L'Hopital's rule does not replace the quotient rule. It's a use of derivatives in a very specific case.